Hey guys, so in this video we are going to be taking a look at some bending examples. So this is the example I've got for you. Um, just to find the required size of solid square mild steel uh, given the case below. So we've got a pin and roller support and we have a load of 5 kilonewtons um, applied at 1.3 meters from the pin support at A here and the total length of our beam is 2 meters. So first thing to do here uh, find reactions. So so this should be pretty simple. Uh, we just take net moment at point A equal to zero. So that gives us, so we've got two meters times the reaction at B and we're going to call that BY and that will be equal to this moment produced by our five kilonewton force which is equal to 1.3 1.3 times 5. So that gives us reaction BY equal to 3.25 kilonewtons. Um, now just to get reaction at A we just need to do sum of forces in the Y direction equal to 0 so that means we get AY equal to 5 minus BY which means AY is equal to 1.75 kilonewtons. So now just create a quick shear force diagram. So along our length here. So at A jumps up to 1.75 then we come across and let's say our it's about point we want and that comes down 5 kilonewtons so we have down here negative 3.25 and we finish it off and come back to zero so that shear force diagram then we can have a bending moment diagram so pretty simple it's our zero line um, at the point where the loads applied is where our maximum bending moment will be so let's call that there and it's simply the area of either of these two um, areas here so it turns out that's equal to 2.275 kilonewton meters so we then just have linear lines coming to that point uh, without that little jump there so something just like that um, we now need to determine what size now we've got the bending moment we can determine what size of square section we need so we can use stress is equal to my on i and for this because we've got two unknowns here the y and the i we create a new variable called z which is equal to i on y and solve then for z so we find that Z is equal to the moment on our stress and the stress should note just why for mild steel uh, we are using 270 megapascals so that's just so from some material tables here so simply 
for z we get that that is equal to uh, just being careful of units here so we get 2275 over 270 times 10 to the 6 now I want this to be in millimeters cubed so I then times that by 1000 cubed which gives me a size of 8 for 25.9 millimeters cubed so that's what we need to use to size our section so to do that we come to our uh, material tables uh, solid sections. I'm actually going to use another one I've got here. Uh, on this one, I've listed our second moments or moments of inertia down along here, and then out of fibers Y, we got our Z value. So I come down here and I find I have two Z values. Um, this one here, 10,667, and this one. 5,461 so I'm in between the two so I'm going to have to select the upper one so that means we end up going with a square section that has side length 40 millimeters so choose 40 millimeter square section and that there is the solution to our problem here.